What's up everyone, I'm back at y'all to another video now, but this one, of course, I'm going to be ranking the Halloween franchise from worst to best. Now, this is literally my favorite horror franchise, you know, Chucky's, of course, my second favorite, um, but, you know, I'm a huge Halloween fan, and I just love Halloween, so, yeah, so now let's start this ranking. Now, some of these could be controversial, by the way, you know, some of these could be controversial, some people might not agree with my list, you know. So yeah, let's start this ranking. Coming up at number 11 is Halloween Resurrection. Now, I know a lot of people expected this one to be the bottom. A lot of people expected this one to be the bottom. Now, while it's not as bad as Seed of Chucky is, it's still a bad movie. Um, They made Michael Myers the pussy in this movie, you know. There wasn't that much great kills. There's only one great kill in the entire movie when Michael Myers slices that girl's head off. But other than that, the story was just bland and it was generic. And, and if we could do a secret, got to try to come up with something different. Halloween Resurrection just generic. You know, it's boring. And I did like that line when Buster Rhymes busts through the door and he says, Trick or treat, motherfucker. That's a funny line. So I did like that line. And there's one great kill in the entire film. Um, The mask. The mask ain't that great, but it's decent mask. You know, it's not the best mask. So yeah, of course, Halloween Resurrection is going to be at my number 11. Now, coming in at my number 10. Now, this film started getting a good fan base for it. Now, coming at my number 10 is Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Now, I know a lot of people have been liking this film. You know, there's, there's a fan base of this film now, for this film. But, in my opinion, there are some good things about it. But the thing is... In my opinion, it was a lot. Of, there's a lot of scenes that are boring, and of course, Michael Myers ain't in it, of course. But, but they ain't the biggest reason why I didn't like Halloween Three. It's because it was. It felt generic too. This one felt. This one just was a boring film to me. Like, this one was just a boring film. So yeah, that's why it has it my number ten. Um, it's slightly better than Halloween Resurrection, in my opinion, but it's my number ten. Coming in at my number nine is from here on out, these are films that are decent to good. Or decent to amazing, you know, from here on out. So coming in at my or coming at my, my number nine is Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Now this film I thought was decent. You know, it's not the best. There's a lot of redeeming qualities in this film. Like I, this film is a mixed bag for me. I, I enjoy most of the movie and, and I hate most of the movie. But the things I did like about it is brutal. That's what I like about Rob Zombie's Halloween 1 and 2. You know, the two remakes is just brutal. Michael Myers is scary. I, if I saw Michael Myers like that in a freaking alleyway, I'm fucking out of there. But of course, Michael Myers has always been brutal after the, the original Halloween. That's when he really went brutal after the original Halloween. Even though the original Halloween is freaking amazing. You know, it, it made horror huge. So yeah, um, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 is great. I love the um, soundtrack in it a little bit. The thing is, like it had a different soundtrack, you know, but because Michael Myers' soundtrack ain't in this one a lot, but you know, um, but yeah, the right horse bullshit, I wish they could have took that out. There's a lot of stuff that could have made this movie be amazing, but because the first 15 minutes was freaking scary and horrifying, it's, it makes you think, I would hate to be in that situation. The first 15 minutes was horrifying. And then you had that one scene where these two dudes try to beat the shot of Michael Myers. And then Michael Myers gets up and whoops their ass and kills them. So, yeah, there's a, there's a few good things and there's a few bad things in this film. That's why this is at my number nine because it ain't the best Halloween film, of course. Now, coming up at number eight is Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. Which is Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Now, this film... I love the brutality in this film. This film has some great kills. Um, and this film has some great kills and and great acting. I thought the acting was great. And once again, Dr. Loomis was amazing in this film. Um, I just love this film a lot. So, yeah, this film, there are some negatives. And um, Michael Myers' mask is great. The kills are great. The acting is great. But the only negative I have with it, there are a lot of slow parts. You know, it's like they're trying to bring it back to the original because the original does it so well that it just does it so well. So, the original Halloween does it so well, and we'll get to that when we get to it. But 
Halloween 6, there are some slow scenes in there, but there's a lot of great kills. It's brutal, almost from start to finish. And they got to place Michael Myers as menacing and scary as fuck in this film. That's one of Michael Myers that if I see him in the alleyway, I'm fucking turning the other way. Because there's no way you can get away from get away from this Michael Myers. So you get Halloween 6. That's why I said my number 8. Because while it's not the best Halloween movie, it's still pretty good. Coming out my number 7 is Halloween 5. Now, a lot of people were thinking, why'd you put it a little bit kind of that high? Well, Halloween 5, I thought was underrated. You know, a lot of people hate this film. I enjoy some of the kills. Um, and a few negatives that I have with it is the cops are fucking a bunch of goofballs in this film, which is fucking stupid. And then, um, and then the mask, not, not a good mask. Um, this film... It's it's okay, you know. It's okay. It's decent. I can still watch it again. Um, and it leads off immediately after part four, which is that that was an amazing clip thing at the end of part four. So I don't know what they was thinking when they went number five, but number five, it is decent. It's not the best Halloween movie, but it is pretty good, you know. Coming in at my number six is um, is Rob Zombie's Halloween, the first remake. Now, from here on out, these films are freaking pretty damn good. So, Rob Zombie's Halloween. This film has a great Michael Myers. The person who played Michael Myers is great. Some great brutal kills, some great acting. You know, um, this film was spectacular, almost. Almost spectacular. But, it, like, um, but there are a lot of negatives... I, I with this film too, like when everyone just say fuck every few minutes, you know, it's kind of stupid. But you know, the kills are great in this film, and a lot of people hate the backstory of Michael Myers because I guess that's what takes them to stick away from the character and stuff. But you know, I enjoy it because Rob Zombie wanted to do something a little bit different, and if he's going to do a remake. He wants to do something at least slightly different from the original Halloween. So that's what he did. So Rob Zombie's Halloween is having number six because it's not horrible, in my opinion. So, yeah, now coming up with number five is from here on now. This is my top five, by the way. My top five. Um, From here on out, these films are freaking just good to great, great, great. So number five, the original Halloween 2. The original Halloween 2, um, you, like, they chat up the girl from the first one. You know, that one kill where Michael Myers shoving that girl's head in the freaking hot tub and turn that shit up really, really freaking hot. And you see her freaking skin melt off while he's freaking shoving her head in the damn hot tub. That scene was amazing. There's a lot of iconic scenes in this film that I love. The mask was amazing, which is I heard that they used the same mask from the first one. But the mask just looks different because it was underneath something for a longest period of time. So, Halloween 2, I enjoyed the film quite a bit. Coming in at my number 4 is Halloween H2O. Now, this is sort of another underrated film. A lot of people hate this film, too. Now, Lloyd Strode was great in this film. You know, Jamie Lee Curtis did a great role. This takes place 20 years after the, um, the original Halloween 2. You know, Halloween 2, 20 years after Halloween 2. And um, this film has a great soundtrack. You know, a lot of people didn't like how, how they used the theme in this one. But I enjoyed that theme a little bit, you know. Um, and then some, you got some kills, great kills in this film. But the only issue I had with it was they used three different masks. And they shouldn't have done that. You, like, you could tell that one of the masks is bad CGI. Like, when I first saw this movie, I was like, what the hell? You know, why does the mask look like that right now? You know, it's it's kind of crazy. But... But, you know, the kills are pretty good. Um, the story was pretty good. Um, so, yeah. Halloween H20, I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy the film. So, yeah, that's why I was at my number four. Coming in at my number three is Halloween 2018. Now, when I first saw this movie, I almost put this as my number one on the list. But after watching a few times, it's in my top three. 
I enjoy Halloween 2018 because John Carpenter is back to do the musical score, which is that's fucking badass. And then the music is just phenomenal in this film. I just love this film. The kills are great. The mask is great. Um, there are some jokes that didn't fit it. That's what made it go to my top three a little bit because there's some jokes you're like, damn. You know, and stuff like that. So, yeah. And stuff. So, yeah. Halloween 2018. That's why I said my top three. Um, I enjoy this film. So, yeah. That's why I said my top three. Now, coming in at my number two is... Um, Halloween 4. The Return of Michael Myers. Now, Halloween 4 is one of the best horror sequels out there. Halloween 4 has a great score, of course. The only issue I had with it was the mask. You know, kind of like what the Child's Play remake did. It's like everything about the movie was good. The good story and everything else was great. But the doll. So, so yeah, that's sort of what, in this case, in um, Halloween 4. So, Halloween 4... Everything around it's great except the mask. Um, the ending's great, you know, where that good dude tried to hit Michael Myers in the face. And Michael Myers sitting there letting him hit him in the face. This is when Michael Myers is super badass because Michael Myers sitting there letting him hit him in the face. It's like Michael Myers thinking, you thought you got what you thought you got. And then Michael Myers grabs him, grabs him right here and fucking lifts his ass up and fucking kills him. That scene right there was badass. And you got that ending scene where, um, where Rachel and Jamie Lloyd is going up the damn roof. And Michael Myers sitting there trying to get to him. And that's an intense scene right there. And you got some great kills in the film. It's freaking, this film is just awesome. Um, so yeah. Halloween 4 is at my number 2. I love this film. I'm probably always going to love it. So yeah. That's why it's at my number 2. Coming in at my number 1. Is this shouldn't be any surprise to anybody. Because this horror film is just. What more can I say? It's just freaking spectacular. Coming in at my number 1. Halloween 1978. Mood and atmosphere was freaking amazing in this movie. Kind of like Halloween 4, which is Halloween 4 had the great mood and atmosphere, you know, and it feels like fall. You got the Halloween feel, so that's awesome about Halloween 4. But Halloween 2018, I mean, Halloween 1978, had, um, Michael Myers' mask is great. There's nothing really negative I can say about this film. The mask is great. The characters are freaking amazing. I love... Um, some of the kills, you know, ain't great, great, great because, you know, you saw the kills, but there wasn't bloody. You know, there are one great kill in this film where Michael Myers jumps out and freaking stabs that dude on the wall. That scene's iconic, and there's a lot of great scenes in this film that I love. The ending was great. Everything about this movie was great. I love the look. I love the feel of it. And then there's some scenes where you see leaves on the ground. It feels like fall a little bit. It feels like Halloween. You know, you feel Halloween in this film. So... Halloween 1978, that's why I said my number one. I love this fucking movie. So, yeah, this is my ranking of the Halloween franchise. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe and share. And also hit the bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now I'm out. Peace.